All right, guys. So since I'm home with a bad sinus infection and waiting COVID test results, let's go ahead and print some things. Um, I got a request to print some Mayan Aztec death whistles. So we've got one going here. The first one that we printed didn't really make the sound it was supposed to. So went ahead and removed the supports because I'm thinking it made some supports on the inside, but we'll see. This one, I'm about to level the bed. Once I level the bed, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do a couple different variations of these and then we'll try them out and see how they do. This one's gonna be green, this one's gonna be black. This one's technically a uh, multicolor, so it's gonna go green, yellow, um, and it'll probably finish on yellow. Unfortunately, right now I'm using too much power on the power outlets in this room, so the third printer will not be being used. Considering I have all these minor rigs and all this different tech going at once. Well, since I'm quarantined, I guess I can make all the YouTube content I want right now. Um, so right now the Vox Lab is getting ready to fire up and print a little bit. But I wanted to talk about how I'm liking the Vox Lab Aquila. So these things are awesome. They are, they have really done great. Um, I've tried them with these mats right here on the glass bed, and those actually work really well for certain things. But the glass bed itself generally is a great option by itself. Also, a little bit of Elmer's purple glue works really well if you need more adhesion. I do have Raspberry Pi 3 and a BL Touch that I'm gonna be installing on these. Everyone wants to see that done, so we're gonna do that. Also, I've got a ton of the filament that comes with these stock, so I'm gonna use some of that and make some cool little projects with it. But we also have the white, we have the blue, we have the orange, we have the chromaly, we have the rainbow, the black, uh, glow in the dark and purple that I have yet to even open. So I just realized I think it's purple. What is this? What color is this? Oh no, that's another roll of black. Oh, purple back there. <laughs> no, I didn't realize I had three rolls of black, but yeah, I've got three rolls of black. Glow in the dark back there. So, some things I recommend doing, guys. Definitely upgrade your uh, springs. Um, make these little infillers so stuff doesn't fall in. I've got to make them for that one. You're gonna want an arm for the guide. I'm eventually gonna do away with these filament mounts, extruder head part extras, and um, these little clips instead of the ones that come with it these are terrible so yeah i'm still new to this i'm still working on you know figuring everything out but i figured you know what this is a great time to figure out what's going on and what i need to do and how to learn these so stay tuned i'll we'll be making a lot more content like this all right so here's four different designs of the aztec mine death whistles we had more but some of them were super bad um these aren't the best prints. Um, I could change some settings and stuff, but this one on the inside has some structural issues. So let's hear it. Doesn't sound that great. This one is super loud. I'm doing this in the garage because the baby is napping. That one actually sounds like it's supposed to. Probably can't pick it up too well on the camera. Next, this one has a mouthpiece. And again, I believe there's a little bit of deformity on the inside. <coughs> Sounds like a whistle. This one actually looks perfect, but it didn't turn out sounding like I was hoping. <coughs> Sounds like a whistle. Whistle, whistle. Doesn't work. Death whistle. So, we're going to print some more and see how they come out, but I'm going to end this video like it is. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. I will have a link to all these different death whistles in the description below. And these were made on the Vox Lab Aquila. So if you have an Ender, it will do the same quality. Now, these were made with different PLA materials, and I did not modify the prints except for on this one. I did make it a little bit larger because the first one was way too small.